Good morning and welcome to our virtual service of Matins on this, the second Sunday of Easter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his great mercy hath forgotten us again, has begotten us again in unto a living hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. God is our hope and strength, a very present help in trouble. When the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he has committed, and doeth that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive. O Lord, correct me but with judgment, not in thine anger, lest thou bring me to nothing. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Dearly beloved, the scripture moveth us in sundry places, to acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and weakness, and that we should not dissemble nor cloak them before the face of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, but confess them with an humble, lowly, penitent, and obedient heart, to the end that we may obtain forgiveness of the same by his infinite goodness and mercy. And although we ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before God, Yet ought we most chiefly so to do when we assemble and meet together to render thanks for the great benefits that we have received at his hands and to set forth his most worthy praise, to hear his most holy word and to ask those things which are requisite and necessary as well for the body as the soul. Wherefore I pray and beseech you, as many as I have present, to accompany me with a pure heart and a humble voice unto the throne of the heavenly grace, saying after me, Almighty, Almighty and most Almighty merciful Father, Father, we have heard and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord, and grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Grant, we beseech thee, merciful Lord, to thy faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins, and serve thee with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now we have the first reading by Brian. from the first letter of Paul, verses three to nine. A living hope. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope 
through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, even if now for a little while you have had to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, being more precious than gold that, though perishable, is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honour when Jesus Christ is revealed. Although you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him, you believe in him and rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy. For you are receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. We say together the Te Deum. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry. Holy, 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 the Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee, the father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true and only son. Also the Holy Ghost, the comforter. Thou art the king of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou did not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee and we worship thy name, ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. Taken from John chapter 20, verses 19 to the end. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together, with the doors locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone his sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Now Tod Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands, and put my finger where the nails were, and put my hand into his side, 
I will not believe it. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, see my hands, reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, my Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Jesus did many other miraculous signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not recorded in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We now say the Jubilate Deo. O oh, be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands, save the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Be ye sure that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. O oh, go your way into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth from generation to generation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We now say the Creed. I believe in God. The Father Almighty maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen. And mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness. And make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save the people. And bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. Because there is none other that fighteth for us but only you, O God. God, make clean our hearts within us. And take not thy Holy Spirit from us. The collect for the second Sunday of Easter. Almighty Father, you have given your only Son to die for our sins and to rise again for our justification. Grant us so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth to the merits of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. 
collect for peace. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we surely trusting in thy defence may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And the Collect for Grace. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us the beginning of this day and defends us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The sermon will be found uh, separately uh, on the website. We now have prayers. Let's pray. <clears throat> our prayers and thoughts this morning are with families in our country and worldwide who are suffering with or bereaved by COVID-19. We pray for frontline workers, doctors, nurses, carers and cleaning staff and others who risk their health on a daily basis to care for others. We pray for those in isolation, Lord. May they know your comfort and your company. May those around them, may they truly be neighbours by prayer and acts of kindness. We pray for health workers, doctors, nurses, hospital staff, as they answer their vocation under increasing pressure. And we pray for those upon whose shoulders the yoke of leadership rests, that their conversation and communion may your still small voice be heard. We pray for our church, Lord, your people who are gathered in your name across this country and across the world. We pray for those in our parish, those who are sick, those in nursing homes, hospices and for those who are housebound. Lord, we remember those that we know and we name them quietly before you now. We pray, Lord, for the family of Desmond Pierce who have been bereaved this week. Comfort the family, Lord, upon, uh, comfort them and uphold them at this time. May they know your peace and your comfort. Lord, bring healing to those who are sick. Bring peace to those who are anxious and bring strength to those who care for them. Lord, we pray for our leaders in our churches. We pray your blessing upon all who seek alternative ways to minister to your people. And we pray that the people see and understand the hope and comfort that can be found in the message of your gospel. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And we say together, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Thank you, everyone. That is, brings our service to an end. <laughs>